The USA has some of the most lethal weapons in the world. This superpower nation is constantly developing its weaponry and vehicles to get ahead of its rivals. With some of the biggest engineering companies providing this equipment, then it is no wonder that the US Army's latest offerings have been turning some heads. Let's take a look at three of the most exciting new releases that the US Army has been showing off. First, we're going to start with a crazy powerful gun. This is the Link-Fed 30mm M230LF. This is an automatic cannon, which is a version of the original 30mm M230 automatic cannon that is fitted to the AH-64 series of Apache attack helicopters. The reason why they felt the need to change the original M230 was to make it more suitable for installation on light vehicles and small boats. This version is being offered with two barrel lengths, 1.066 meters and 1.524 meters. There have been four key changes between the original and this LF cannon. The first is that the feed system has been changed from linkless to a link feed that uses the standard US Aiden or DEFA links, which most ammunition is packaged with. This is where it gets its LF tag from. It will accept links with either the hook or loop leading. The electric motor and control system has also been changed from 120 volt 40 cycle AC to 24 volt DC. This has made it compatible with standard vehicle electrical systems. The third change is that an anti hang fire system has been included, like the system which is used on the Bushmaster 25mm M242 chain gun. This system has already been proven in all Bushmaster applications. The last important change is that the recoil and cannon mounting systems were revised to provide easier vehicle turret integration. This was especially important, as the versatility to be used on lighter vehicles was paramount. The M230LF has been integrated into several turret systems and is currently under trial with several countries. A massive advantage of this system is the broad lethality of the M789 high-explosive dual-purpose round of ammunition, which can be used with the cannon. This ammunition is claimed to be true multipurpose and gives excellent anti-material, anti-personnel, and anti-light armor performance. On top of this, it will also fire the US M799 and M788 rounds, as well as all Aiden DEFA ammunition. The compatibility with various breeds of ammo will be another key plus point for anyone looking for adaptable weaponry. Other features include a delinking feeder that exploits linked ammunition, and an extended length barrel, which provides greater muzzle velocity and power from the same M789 HEDP and NATO standard 30mm Aiden DEFA projectiles. Next, we're going to look at the Stryker A1 Initial Maneuver Short Range Air Defense System, or M SHORAD for short. This was developed by General Dynamics Land Systems and Leonardo DRS for the U.S. Army. This air defense platform has been designed to provide air and missile defense against a range of low-altitude aerial threats like rotary wing and fixed-wing aircraft, cruise missiles, as well as Group 1, 2, and 3 unmanned aerial systems. m -Shorad will also offer protection against artillery, rockets, and mortars. It's also being introduced to combat regional ballistic missile threats such as Patriot and the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System. This system is installed on General Dynamics Stryker A1 8x8 wheeled armored vehicle that is equipped with a 450 horsepower Caterpillar C9 engine plus a 60,000 pound suspension system. The double V hull design of the Stryker A1 combat vehicle gives the U.S. Army high survivability against mines and improvised explosive devices. The m -Shorad system is equipped with Moog's reconfigurable integrated weapons platform turret system. This gives the system significantly increased survivability against airborne threats. This turret is armed with kinetic and non-kinetic weapons that detect, identify, track, and destroy emerging enemies. The platform also enables different weapons configurations. 
This includes a pair of AGM-114L Longbow Hellfire air-to-surface missiles, which can defeat air and ground targets, plus four Raytheon Stinger man-portable air defense systems that are used for taking out light-armored air targets within a range of 4,800 meters. The secondary armament of the M Shored system includes a 30mm XM914 Bushmaster chain gun and a 7.62mm M240 coaxial machine gun. The M61 Vulcan is the final weapon we're going to look at. Now this one is more of a classic weapon, but is still in use with countries around the world. Shortly after the Second World War came to an end, the U.S. military needed a gun that could shoot down the latest fighter aircraft. The result was the M61 Vulcan rotary cannon. The Vulcan uses the 20 by 102 mm cartridge and is hydraulically operated, though at first it used linked ammunition. It has an effective range of around 600 meters. It fires its rounds as the barrel cluster rotates. This allows it to shoot a huge number of rounds in rapid succession. Not only is it capable of firing 100 rounds per second or 6,000 rounds per minute, but it's also surprisingly reliable. According to reports, it's predicted to jam or fail only once every 10,000 rounds. With this amazing rate of fire, measures had to be taken with ammunition. Aircraft that the M61 was mounted on would only carry so much, so this controlled how much ammo could be fired. In later developments, General Electric solved this problem by adding a burst controller. While work on the Vulcan began in the 1940s, the rotary cannon didn't see action until 1965 during the Vietnam War. A lot has changed since then, but the thing that hasn't changed is the popularity of the M6. General Electric sold off its armament division to the Martin Marietta Corporation, which later became a part of Lockheed Martin. Lockheed was then bought by General Dynamics, and this is who controls the M61 today. What do you think about these weapons? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.